I love theater and take all my roles seriously. Dad, physician, team leader. When I was a kid, I dreamed of helping to protect those in need as either a doctor or a Jedi. I'm a mom first, and that's why I treat our patients like family. Caring for my family and yours, that's the goal. When I was um, very young, in about six or seven years old, I remember um, my father, he was a field worker, and uh, we would uh, work in the fields of the carrots. He would always refer to me as his doctor, his little doctor. So in Spanish, the word mi doctorcito would be used to, um, to call my attention. And uh, there would be instances where he would call that name to me, and I would rub his back because it was a lot of uh, hard work. In the, in the carrots. And I did carrots for about, uh, for about 18 years. Uh, in between school, you know, on vacations, our Christmas vacations, we're working out in the Imperial Valley. And our summer vacations were spent in the fields and uh, that was my, my upbringing. This is uh, stuff from my dad, my late dad. Uh, this was his coat and his stethoscope. My mom and brothers gifted it to me when I graduated from med school. And this is um, his uh, fellowship diploma in infectious diseases. Uh, only as a physician did I realize how smart you have to be to have a fellowship in infectious diseases. It's not an easy thing to come by. Uh, so uh, I have learned later on in life, you know, how, how smart my dad probably really was to get that fellowship. I look back and I wouldn't trade it for the world. To have those um, close relationships with my brothers, my siblings, and, uh, and my parents. And they showed me what it meant to, to earn the dollar, you know, what the value of the dollar was. And I thought that was a, just a, a tremendous blessing on, on, on my part. And I'm trying to instill that in my kids now. And, uh, and that's kind of a little challenge because it's not, he's, they're not out there getting up, you know, five in the morning and working long hours. But, uh, but it, was an it was a good experience for me. How did Eric and I meet? So we met in med school. Um, I am a Southern California local, graduated from Riverside. I had exactly six weeks between the end of my undergrad and the start of medical school. My best friend and I went out with a bang and then went up to med school and I was feeling pretty homesick up there. You know, seven hour drive, feels like worlds away. And you meet people pretty quick. They become a, a good part of your life. You're spending eight hours a day. This is before a lot of technology. Uh, and so then you find study partners. That's how you keep saying, you know, how do you go over eight hours worth of material for five days a week? And so we started in a study group. There was probably five or six of us. And then as most things do, dwindled down until eventually he was the only one that came over. And then it just kind of went from there. Eventually we were just like, hey, let's get married. <laughs> I've always had that in my mind when I was going into high school and college and thinking about, hey, is this something that I want to do? And I actually applied to PA and physical therapy uh, schools and I got denied. And uh, it, was, it wasn't until um, somebody told me, well, why don't you just follow your dreams? And I, I took the MCAT and then I applied to um, medical school. I applied to about three or four schools and I was interviewed in one at Western University and I got accepted and that was like the best thing ever. The sad thing about the whole story is that my father wasn't around uh, to, he wasn't alive to see the dream come true. <laughs> I come to work and, and I've told the story to, the, to my shareholders and, and to the providers that when I come to work, it doesn't seem like work because I know what work is. I've done work. I've done heavy work, like a lot of the other shareholders have done. To me, this is, this is a calling. Uh, to me, this is my dad's dream that, uh, that I'm living through, you know? And it, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience to be able to treat the patients that remind me of my dad and remind me of my grandparents, my mother. My mother's still alive. Um, so she got to witness it all. But uh, it's a, it, definitely it's a dream come true.